Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing a Ford Mustang Dark Horse with the manual. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Ford here in Provo for giving me some time with this Mustang. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And by the way, this particular Dark Horse is available for sale. If you have any questions, just ask for John Jenks. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 that goes through a 6 speed manual transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 22 on the highway, with power outputs being 500 horsepower and then 418 pound feet of torque. And I love how the bracing there says Dark Horse, that's cool. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So popping over to the hood, you got this giant decal here and it actually says Mustang Dark Horse off to the side, uh, but really cool look. But the coolest thing is this paint color. So I'm going to try to get this effect to pop up on camera. It has this color shift kind of dynamic to it. So basically it's this blue paint, but it's got kind of like gold metallic and some purple metallic flake in it. And so as you can see with the sun hitting it, it just has this really cool shimmer. One of the coolest colors I've seen on a car from the factory. And then you can see with the headlight design, super aggressive. This is kind of all blacked out with the dark horse package. And then can you see on the front, just below, or above the front splitter there, you can see that kind of shift there where it looks less blue, kind of more gold purple, really cool. But yeah, putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks here with the dark horse. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 255, 40, 19 in the front, and then 275, 40, 19 in the rear. And we've got Brembo brakes front and rear, and you can see with the brakes, they're in the blue paint that the car is finished in, except it doesn't have the same metallic flake uh, as the car, so it kind of has a darker hue to it. Uh, and you can see here with the fender again, that's where you can kind of see better look at the color shift kind of dynamic with the paint. Got your Dark Horse logo there, and then satin on the mirror cap. And then here is the full side view with the dark horse. And then take a look at the key fob. You can see your lock and unlock function. We got the opening here for the trunk and then the Mustang horse on the back. And popping into said trunk, uh, you guys can see quite a decent amount of storage for a pony car, muscle car, <laughs> right? But yeah, not a big opening by any means. And then when you're all done, you can see really cool spoiler here on the back. And then you got the new taillight design. Again, another dark horse logo and then pretty aggressive exhaust tips. So putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks of the Dark Horse, but I think, you know, this is gonna go down as one of the best looking Mustangs. And then taking a look at the door panel, you can see soft touch here at the top, and then look at the trim down below with the blue. And it looks like you got some Alcantara here, so lots of different materials. And that theme continues on the seats with the blue and the Alcantara and everything. And yeah, with the Mustang, you don't have a lot of room there in the back, but the cool thing is the front seat. So Recaro's, you can see Recaro there across, Nice perforated trim down the center. Uh, it is manually adjustable. I like the blue on this. It looks really sharp. And then we got the three pedal layout here at the bottom. Then you got your light controls and then more of the blue stitching. Now take a look at the steering wheel. Nice trim all around and Got the blue stitching on the center portion, which is a pretty cool feature. Practical controls here on the front, including adaptive cruise control. And you got your regular stocks there in the back. So we've got the big digital gauge cluster that a loaded up Mustang will come with. And it changes with the different drive modes. So we're normal if we pop it into like, let's say sport mode, for example, gives you a cool little animation, very video game-esque. Uh, but then changes the look of the gauge cluster. You can even do like the Fox body look that I've shown in other reviews, but yeah, really cool setup. In reverse, we've got a backup camera, trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel, solid resolution and all of that. And then as for the rest of the infotainment screen itself, uh, easy to use, you've got access to the climate controls all the time. Uh, just have a heated steering wheel, no heated seats with the Recaro seats it looks like, which is an interesting uh, setup. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'd say pretty good system. It does take a second for, yeah, some of the pages to load up, but yeah, not too bad. Soft touch trim all across the dash. And then I like this with the dark horse, just like with the 350, how they give you the chassis number. Pretty cool. And then you got more of that blue stitching and everything down below. And with a glove box, you pretty good with the storage. And then you got some physical buttons here. So this will pop up in the infotainment screen. 
So this is where we can do the custom cluster. So like, you can do Fox Body. It's always the one to go for. That's cool. Um, anyways, we've got spilly control there, volume control, wireless phone charging pad. And then this is the cool part. We got the shifter, Tremec six speed with this. I love the shifter head again, the blue on it. Really cool part of it. Interesting with the uh, brake, <laughs> it's electronic. And then you can see cup holders, more storage there with more blue stitching. And then here's a look at the window sticker for this Dark Horse uh, 700A equipment group with this. And yeah, loaded up. Uh, with that being said, oh, Dark Horse appearance package. Interesting. So I guess this is painted black too. Hmm. 68,425 is the total MSRP on this. Let's see how it drives. I got caught committing <laughs> Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do a blessed wandering throughout the rest of the rear. And we got John Jenks in here. This is the guy you're buying the car from, by the way. I said in the video, beginning of the video. Also, I need to put a little bit closer. Should we get the gas card and just get gas? Eh, you can get gas later. There you go. There's your loophole. There's your loophole. Shifter's really good. Yeah, I would say compared to the regular manual you have in the GT. This Tremec 6 speed is substantially better right off the bat. Just the notchiness that it has. Really cool. I did the uh, Fox body gauge. Uh, I was gonna put it onto the track one so it has the shifting. Oh yeah, let's do that. We'll pop it into track mode here. I was gonna do it while still being another one. I see it's only gonna stay in there. The 5 0 feels great in this. Because if you have the Fox body set, then it won't match drive. Ah. Really easy to rev match in this. Does it feel similar to the 350? I would say that. Like the transmission. The, I like the shifter head more in this than the 350. But in terms of notchiness, they're both pretty similar. This might have, this almost feels like it's a little bit notchier than the 350. It's almost the same transmission, right? It's the yeah. I think they did a much better job though on the shifter head with this. <laughs> it's quick. It's got some power. It definitely has more of like a punch compared to the 350. Because the 350, you don't build power until higher up in the RPMs. Because I mean, that revs to over 8,000, whereas this, it's it's got more of that muscle car feel. I will say they fixed the handling with this quite a bit. Because the regular GT, the handling kind of feels, it's not bad, the car's really sharp, but the steering, you can't really feel as much. This, I feel like it's still a little bit more video gamey compared to like a 350, but it feels more connected than the regular GT. Oh, we gotta go over here. Is this so we can look at the Mercedes S-Class? <laughs> no, it's just so that's for the easier for the lab tech to get gas. Oh, true. So, do you want me to reverse it here or on the back? No, up here. Hey, look how cool the reflection is. So to cap things off here with the Dark Horse, this is the best version of the new Mustang. Is it as good as the 350? I think it'd be better to daily drive this than the 350, but in terms of like fun, I think the 350 is still a little bit more fun to drive, but this is, this is way crazier. Hi, Johnny. Before you uh, turn it off, do you want to go into drift mode and we can test this out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>